So this morning I wanted to discuss some of the water systems that we have for our ducks and chickens. Uh, we were curious to see what everyone else uses and uh, what works best for you. We'll show you what we use and, and what's been working for us so far. Um, but we are definitely open to trying new products to see if they work any better. So these are the three buckets that we're currently using. These two we got from Tractor Supply. They work pretty well. We've had them for over a year. Uh, they're still going strong. They have a plug that comes in from underneath uh, that wraps up inside. Uh, we use these in the summertime as well. We just we just wrap up the cord and tuck it up in there, and then there's a, a cap that goes over uh, the bottom of it. We have to have the buckets, you know, mainly because of the ducks. They have to be able to dunk their bill, uh, clean out their nasal passage while they're eating. And then this is the newest one that we just got from Premier One. So far, it really works well. The ducks actually have figured out how to use the, this as well, uh, but that's just as a backup water source, just to get some extra water. This is Premier One, and these are from Tractor Supply. My only issue with this one is that when you these kind of lock in place when you twist it uh, they tend to be really it is brand new so maybe it just needs to wear in a little bit more but they do have a tendency to uh, you know really be stuck in there especially when it freezes up if there's any water that gets in there uh, it's a it's a real pain to to get this lid off um, and like I said right now it's not even frozen and if I if I lock that in like all the way that's I was trying to get that off and it was very difficult so you can imagine if it freezes up uh, it could it could be even harder uh, I, what I usually do is just pour some hot water over it if it does freeze and it I can get it off but this is everything else about it I really like just the lid uh, setup is not my favorite but this is what we're trying at the moment anyway we also use these shallow pans we have a couple ducks that have some leg issues and so we put we put the water in some of the shallow pans now granted they don't stay uh, like that all day with it being cold but uh, at least they can come out and get some a drink and we'll usually come out uh, twice a day, sometimes even three times a day to check on everybody, make sure their water's clean and, and filled up. So I showed you the buckets that we use already, uh, that we're using currently. Uh, these are some of the other buckets that we've used in the past. Uh, typically we still use them in the summertime, but they don't really work very well in the winter. Um, this works really well, uh, mainly because it ho hooks up to the hose and will uh, refill itself, kind of like a toilet uh, mechanism on the inside, will refill itself. Um, but the only problem is the hose will freeze up, so uh, we can't use that in the winter time. But it does work really well in the uh, summer. We bought this at Tractor Supply, uh, Doramate. Uh, for the most part, we use these for when we have baby chicks or baby ducks. Usually we use larger containers just because we have about 30 chickens and about 40 ducks. So we do have some larger containers like this. For the most part, we use the buckets and uh, a couple other methods. We've also used this container with a heating base. We've also used the old school metal containers that go on the heating base. We tend not to put these inside the coop at night anymore. Uh, they just make a big mess. The water spills and then ends up freezing up and uh, it's just more difficult to clean up. And we've also used this mes method. We'll hang it out on a, a little rack or something outside, uh, mounted to the side of the barn with the little nipples on the bottom. We've tried actually this method in the winter time with a heating element that it's a, it, you can sub submerge it in the water. And this didn't work. I was kind of surprised it didn't work. Um, the water never froze, however, the nipples on the bottom would freeze up. So if these drip at all, 
that water would freeze these nipples in place and so when the chickens go to peck at it it just it wouldn't it wouldn't move and they wouldn't be able to get their water so I'd like to try a new method uh, with the nipples there's a different style of nipple similar to the one that you saw on the premier bucket that we just bought uh, that's on the side and what we'd like to do is drill the holes in the side of the bucket instead of the bottom and then place it on the the heating element like that to see if that works any better. I don't know why it would work any better, but I'm gonna experiment to see if it will. Uh, if you have any experience doing that, and just uh, if you could, in the comments below, just let us know uh, what method works best for you in the winter time. We just switched over to the Premier One uh, heat lamp that we like a lot better. We really, very seldom ever use the other one now. We have uh, a few of these that we just purchased last year. Uh, very efficient. The cord is about 10 times as long as the normal uh, cord for the other heat lamps that you can that you buy, uh, which really comes in handy. So you don't have to keep running extension cords. I like the fact that there are smaller holes uh, to keep the, any of the birds from getting near it. Uh, or if it falls on the ground, if it happens to be some hay on the ground or whatever, uh, has a less tendency to, to cause problems. Uh, but so far this has worked really well. Like I said, we bought several of these, very happy with them.